Character actors are essential, and they're, they're just people in movies that you may not even sometimes know their names, but it's like, oh yeah, that guy, he's always good, you know. He has one of the most famous murder scenes <laughs> in the history of cinema. Pepe Cerna ends up on the, the wrong end of a buzzsaw. Pepe's so versatile as an actor. If you look at his career of over, I don't know how many decades, he's done everything. He's played everything. He's a very talented actor. That's why he's been around for so long. He's been working consistently since the 70s. And that's a difficult task for any actor, much less a Latino actor. In 1969 and 1970, uh, the Chicano movement was in full swing. And we set out to do a political movement to right the wrongs that had been inflicted on our community. So at that time period, uh, both of us were on the cusp of understanding the strength of what was about to happen. <laughs> Pepe had the disadvantage of being sort of a typecast. We had a problem playing the stereotypes. Stereotypes of us as gang members, as sleepy peons, as loose women. We have to go back to the, the 80s where th these roles just weren't there. And to create something that leads to another role, that leads to another role. He's the only guy I knew that used to call me up and say, hey man, they're casting a movie. I just went up for it. He would be turning me on to the job that he was going after. In Pepper's case, as an actor, he's the instrument to remind people that uh, life cannot be joyful, life can be enjoyed, life can be happy. And I think in that sense, uh, he's turned life as art into a joyous experience. <laughs> <laughs>